astronomy fans. Want to find baby planets? I'm Melissa Hoffman from the National Radio Astronomy Observatory. Astronomers have detected thousands of planets outside our solar system, but detecting them while they're still being formed is at the frontier of science. Newly emerging planets, called protoplanets, are formed from a disk of dust and gas that revolves around a young star. These particles gradually collide and stick together, forming small chunks that continue to grow over thousands or even millions of years. Eventually, they become full-fledged planets. The Alma Telescope in Chile is giving us the clearest picture ever of newborn star systems, like this one, 330 light years away. It's only five million years old. That's just a fraction of our own solar system's age. The gaps that we see in this disk may come from protoplanets plowing dust and gas away from their orbits. But if we can only see the gaps and not what made them, how can we be sure that there are planets there? What if we could find stronger evidence? Two teams of scientists put their heads together and came up with new ways to view this star system in motion. They homed in on a signal from carbon monoxide gas in the disk. This gas glows in millimeter wavelength light. From the Doppler effect, the light's wavelengths slightly shift depending on the gas's motion relative to Earth. This allows us to observe the gas's velocity. Alma's fantastically sharp resolution has enabled scientists to make very precise measurements of this gas's motion around the disk. And they observed three places where it's flowing in funky ways. The gas shown in red is rotating faster, and the gas shown in blue is rotating slower than the surrounding gas. What would cause these deviations? Three Jupiter-mass planets. As these planets rotate around the star, they change the density of the gas around them. That change in density creates these patterns. This method makes us more certain than ever that protoplanets are orbiting around this star. This development is allowing us to actually see a crucial phase in a planet's birth, the delivery of its atmosphere. Since astronomers have only begun to study infant solar systems with ALMA, this new technique may find planets forming around dozens more stars. <laughs>